Hey guys, all right, this is more on that Cub Cadet um, LTX 1050KW uh, Kawasaki engine. I got everything buttoned up on it, and uh, I went to go drop it off back in his barn so it could get more mice in it. <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden it started running real bad, and I couldn't figure out why for a while and uh, just seemed like a choke or something like it was just flooding itself out you know well that's exactly what's happening so the shaft here's the choke right here let me see if I can get this light over here kind of out of your way maybe this shaft here when you, all right, I'm gonna use the actual choke thing. When you lift up on it, it pushes it up like that. And you push it down, see how it didn't come back down with it? Even though it's got a spring with it. You see that? See, I just pushed it down. So it's not, the choke is not returning for some reason. So, I thought we'd spray some lube in there. That did not work. It's pretty tight, too. So, I think we're just going to take the choke itself apart. And to do that, um, I'd like to find a good spot for this light. Not in your way. Not in your way and not my way. It's going to be in my way right there, though. Oh, it's going to have to be over here for now. Um, nearest I can figure, hopefully this will go well. I don't know. It's these three. And then you got a ground here, of course. Got to get this. Is that aluminum uh, intake manifold for the air filter, which I have previously taken off. So now this bracket, I think, is held on by this bolt. really want anything to come disconnected and there's a big ball of fuzz and grass and the, wow, and the spring we'll have to deal with that um let me get a better look here I'm gonna take this spring off the choke there's fuzz all over the place hmm. and there's a spring down here that's just caked packed of grass <laughs> anyway will this come off now oh, we got a breather line now oh, we got another one here too all right hang on hey man I'm learning while you're learning. I haven't done this before, so. Okay. Just making sure everything's copacetic. Now you can get a better view, maybe, of the choke. It's stiff. Now the spring is off of it, granted. So of course it's going to stay where I put it. But it is... Dude, it is. It's tight. Ridiculously tight. So I'm thinking... I've got one of those little foam things here. I'm thinking we just... Uh, 
grab a hold of the butterfly here. Yep, give her, give her a yank. Now, does this come out? Please come out. Please don't be a pain. Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out, but it's not wanting to. So. Offhand, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it. I was expecting it to be all scarred up and whatever. I'm going to take this little before it disintegrates. This little piece off. And I'm going to go clean this up and I will be back. Oh, sorry. Dang. All right, guys. So no amount of cleaning was going to fix that. So the only thing I could think of is to uh, make this part smaller. So I just grab some sandpaper and just, you know, did the old in and out with the, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <clears throat> um, just trying to make it smaller. And <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm gonna see see what it'll do. Oop, jeez, I didn't want that much. I want that much in there. Jeez whiz. I mean that spring is gonna that spring will for sure bring it back down now I'm uh, just gonna do a little more I don't know why what would make it all of a sudden just start doing that Kind of weird. I need a rag too to soak up all this PB blaster everywhere. Then I'm gonna just take the carb cleaner and get the shaft a little bit. The choke shaft. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's nice. I'm gonna get uh, rag and let me get something else too. She's gonna be smoking a little bit with PB blaster all over the place. So, now what I'm going to do, try and get some of that grass out of that spring. You guys even see, yeah, <laughs> spring is ridiculous. Stuffed with grass. Well, maybe it's not stuffed. It's just up, up in the front part here. that 
come out quicker. Sorry, fellas. There I go thinking again. There I go thinking. It's out for the most part. A bit left. Alright, so let's put a little foam. And just hopefully just put a little PB on there, just like that, that little foam piece. Yeah, it's only about a hundred times better. Okay, good enough, I'd say, and the gasket is perfect on there. That hose hooked up. Hooked up. You can kind of see. Alright, where is that? I gotta come over. Over there. Oh. Choke spring still has as much as stuff attached to it. Certain way. Certain way it goes back. In there. It's like that, eh? Don't forget the ground wire goes on. Started. This guy goes over here now. See that choke? Where is it? It's 
spring. Oh, I think we did a did a boo boo there. Yep, we did. Bingo bango, it's like that. Hope you've seen all that. I had the uh, the the lift when you pull the choke cable. That's the lift arm. The spring was on the other side of it. Uh, it should be on this side of it. So got that all straightened out. So anyway. I'll uh, finish button this up. So there you go, guys. That's uh, a little tip. I'll bring you back, and we'll see how it runs after this. Been running a few minutes. So, and the big deal was when it was warm, still warm, it would just turn over and turn over and turn over and turn over. And uh, you'd be trying to choke and turn the choke off, whatever, you know, the choke stick and it was just flooding itself out. And then it would finally start and big clouds of smoke would go flying. And, uh, and then sometimes it would just the choke wasn't coming off it just start running terrible once it's warmed up so it's been running a while so let's see this is the point where it would not start so i'm not going to choke it oh no to choke it but uh it did fire right up that time though with a <laughs> puff of smoke see what happens this time yep. it's just gonna need the choke i guess seeing if it'll run bad. Alright. Well that's it's definitely fixed. When it's warm I, I don't know why you have to choke it to get it to start but you did that before and it would not I mean, it would take a lot of cranks before it even began to fire, and it would just be like chugging, you know, like, bup, 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 you know, blowing smoke everywhere. And still blows a little now, but maybe if it's ran a while, you know, after mowing, maybe it'll be better. Who knows? But uh, so there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. If you, if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe, you know, leave me a comment, like the comments, and, uh, have a good one. Bye.